what's going on everyone welcome back to star wars coffee where in today's video we are taking a look at the teaser that is on display at d23 for skeleton crew before the actual trailer drops for it so we have two images to take a look at here of the skeleton crew display at d23 this first one here is essentially just the logo behind a starry backdrop with some cargo crates and the pirates in view now the second one gives us a better look here at the pirates where we can see the group here is all aliens and the robot which is great to see we have the droid we have a Nico, and we have some couple other species here as well which is awesome to see that it's not just going to be a human group of pirates i think all of us are in agreement that we would love to see it more aliens in star wars and this is super sweet so this nico here is the one you want to pay attention to the most he is the one with his leg on the cargo crate full of gold this is the most familiar character you should recognize because we have seen him before so we've seen this pirate this is a pirate named Vane. It is a Nico male, and his affiliations are a Gorian Shards gang. Now, if that sounds familiar, it should, and if it doesn't, don't worry about it. Here is the refresh. So he was a member of a Gorian Shards gang. So he was on Navarro during The Mandalorian Season 3. He, along with other pirates, were tried to enter a school to drink, which started a commotion. So Grief Karga and Din Djarin shortly confronted Vane and the other pirates. Vane, along with Gorian Shard and the rest of the gang, returned to Navarro and took control of the city. Vane and his squadron were then sent to take care of Din Djarin when he attacked Gorian Shard's ship, and as Vane and his squadron chased Darin, they came under attack by Bo-Katan in her fighter. So that was in the Mandalorian season three. So if you recall it, that would be why. So Gorian Shard is part of the gang, right? So Nico is part of this. Vane is a Nico who is part of Gorian Shard's gang. So Gorian Shard's gang was the pirate gang led by Gorian Shard in Navarro sector around nine years after the Battle of Yavin. Captain Shard's band was also secretly allied with Moth Gideon's Imperial Remnant, so we have that type of Imperial bit disclosed here in Skeleton Crew as well. So, Grief Karga and Din Djarin killed members of this gang on Navarro. They then ambushed Din in the asteroid fields on Navarro's system. Bo-Katan helped him escape that. And after Shard's ship commenced an aerial bombardment on Navarro, Din Djarin, and other Mandalorians attacked the Corsair and Vayne's snub fighter squadron. So during this battle, Vayne's squadron was obliterated and he fled. So Din and Bo-Katan destroyed Gorian Shard's flagship, killing the Pirate King and his crew. So Vayne fled, which is why he is able to be in the skeleton crew. So now likely he is on his own and these images that we're seeing are now his new group that he is going around marauding with. So that is a pretty good insight into some of the conflict we can expect to see here in Skeleton Crew. For those of you who forgot all of that backstory or didn't even recognize this, this is been this has been confirmed by Star Wars that this character is indeed Vayne, the same one we saw in The Mandalorian Season 3. So that is the teaser before the teaser of the trailer that we are now confirmed to be getting today. Yesterday I told you guys expect it tomorrow, and shortly after that video dropped, they then did confirm that we will be getting that trailer today now. So that does it for me here in this video. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss that trailer when it drops, reaction, breakdown, all of that. Thank you guys for watching. May God bless you and may the force be with you always.